Hi, in this video I will show you how to install PIT kit for Angelio Silvia. Uh, this model is for uh, coffee, steam and brain fusion. These are the parts you will get. Solid state relay. Uh, wires for the controller, power wires for the replacing the thermostats, zip ties and screw. The tools you need a few a Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, uh, long nose pliers and cutting pliers, some thermal pastes for the thermostat for the new sensor and for the solid state relay to transfer the temperature to the frame of the machine. Before starting any repairs or adjustments on the machine be sure to unplug the machine from the outlet. This is most important thing for safety. To open the machine first you need to remove the water tank. Unscrew four screws on top. Remove the top cover. And for the back cover, you have three screws, two here holding the back cover to the frame. You just need to loosen them. Don't unscrew completely. Like this to make the frame loose, uh, back from the frame loose. And the other one is down there under the black metal plate. It has cut for the screwdriver, but uh, in best case is to have a long screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, but in case you don't have, this one will do. Also, you have to be very careful for this edge here and the uh, things which are holding the Ranchillo sign at the back. They are very sharp, you can cut your fingers. This also you just need to loosen, don't unscrew completely. And then what you have to do is grab the back cover, push it back and lift slightly open here. Stretch it a little bit to the side and remove it. Next is to remove these uh, two screws holding the black plate. Next thing is to attach the solid state relay to the frame of the machine using the supplied screw in the kit. Uh, also you need to apply some uh, thermal pastes between the metal part of the solid state relay and the frame. So to trans this is to transfer the heat from the solid state relay to the frame. On the left side you have steam control side. On the right side you have a uh, blue control side. We'll attach the wires now and show you how to proceed further. This is how you need to connect the wires to the solid state relay. The two black thick wires are going to the output. 
on the left side where is the steam control the two uh, thick red wires are going to the right side where is the brook con control side the blue wire thin wire is connected to the negative side red is to the positive white wire is connected to negative side and the red side to the positive side connector be sure to press well and they are connected properly next thing we need to uh, fit the thin wires under the steam valve to the front side of the machine where the pit control will be attached and the uh, black and red wires they are going on top under the steam pipe and now we'll connect them to the steam wires and the brew thermostat wires we just need to disconnect the gray wires from the they're connected together two gray wires this is the brew thermostat this is the steam thermostat we need to disconnect the connectors and connect them to the thick wires coming from the solid state relay you can cut the old zip ties to make it easier to disconnect wires the yellow wire disconnected from the steam thermostat is there already uh, because if you have old machine this uh, connector insulation is uh, brittle you have to be very careful not to break the yellowish connectors insulation because then you have to insulate with shrink tubing or tape uh, better to pull for the grabbing the wire not the connector like this wiggle it a little bit and disconnect now the red wires they are the brew control you need to connect them to the brew control wires which are originally connected to the brew thermostat this is the red wire again be careful not to break the insulation yeah here they are connected uh, red wires to the wires which were originally connected to the steam thermostat the one with oh sorry the brew thermostat the one with the red dot and the black wires connected to the wires which were originally connected to the steam thermostat without the red dot black to steam red to brew now we need to disconnect uh, to remove the two thermostats and remove them from the boiler in order to install the new sensor which is installed on one of these places doesn't matter this is where I prefer to install the new thermostat or sensor for the pit it's easier if you have uh, your screwdriver magnetized and attach the screw like this and it's very easy to install otherwise you can drop the tiniest small screws into the machine inside and then you need to find it but if you magnetize your screwdriver it's very easy just attach the screw like this and screw it in Next thing, uh, next thing we need to do is to install the ground wire here. I'll replace the camera and I'll show you. 
is where you install the thin ground wire, disconnect the thick green wire from the connector, install the thin green wire and then attach the thick to the connector. It's a piggyback. We need to connect the power for the controller box to the main switch. Uh, we need to get the thin black and brown wires with the piggyback connectors. Uh, black wire goes to the black side, brown goes to the left side, where is the red cable. We need to disconnect the cables first, like this, then attach the black thin cable. It's a little bit hard to push, but you need to push it harder. And on the left side, where is the red cable originally? And you, you need to bend the connectors down so they are not too high. Arrange the cables a little bit to the left side. And reconnect the black cable. And the red cable. Like this. Feed the two thin cables to the front of the machine. Connect the green cable, thin cable from the kit to the white cable from the brew switch. You need to disconnect it and connect it to the green thin cable. Then feed it to the front of the machine. Before installing the back, the metal black plate or stainless steel plate, you need to attach the wires to the power cable and it should be lower than the point where the angle is. So when you attach the metal plate, it sits like this. To connect the wires to the controller, I prefer to feed them through this gap here using a plastic or a silicone tubing which protects the wire to be cut from the sharp edge of the stainless steel front or top of the machine. In this way they are protected and there is, uh, because you have here 110 volts on the brown and black wires, it's not good to get a cut by the stainless steel. Uh, another thing is to attach the green wire to this screw here at the corner and you keep it close to the, in this case you, you keep it close to the tubing so it doesn't go to the other corners of the box. Then you need to pull the wires maximum out through the box. This in this way is easier to connect them to the controller. And the way to connect them is uh, the power goes the this black and brown wires is the power 110 volts. Both goes to brown goes to one black with black jumper goes to two, blue wire goes to three, black, the other end of the black jumper goes to four, green goes to five. On the other side you have white jumper from six goes to seven together with the one of the wire from the heat sensor, doesn't matter which one you put where. 
is just a uh, thermal resistor. Uh, one clear wire goes with the white jumper to 7. Other clear wire goes to 8. White wire from the solid state relay comes to 9. And two red wires from the solid state relay comes to 10. Be sure to tighten well the wires. When you pull them, they should not move or come out loose. Uh, the red wires, you can twist them together and make a little bit like hook to uh, easy connect to the uh, screw in the terminal. It's always good to go because when you tighten the screw, it goes clockwise. Put the wires on the left side. So when you tighten the screw, they are pulled in, not push out if you put them on the right side of the screw. In this case, you will get good and solid connection. This is how it, you need to connect. Then you need to make arrangements, wire management. Put one uh, cable tie here, not too tight, to keep them together. And pull the wires back into the machine. I prefer not to cut the wires. So when you need to service the machine to replace the brew head cover or the steam wand, you can uh, detach the box or the, just the, the controller and pull the wires out. So in this case you don't need to disconnect anything from the controller. This is how it should look before putting it into the box. and attaching to the machine you can pull the box and insert it inside or pull the wires in the back and insert it and put the screws in then pull the wires inside the machine and attach the controller to the machine After powering the machine, you should get temperature reading, which goes up. The light at the beginning is steady, then starts blinking toward the end of the heating process. It's getting close to 100. And the brew button should be pressed. This is good indication that the machine is the pit is installed properly. And this is how it looks inside after cable management. I prefer to keep all cables far from the boiler because it gets very hot uh, during the steaming. The temperature gets up to 145 degrees. And this is the solid state relay, how it's organized. Be sure that the pump is far from the connectors because it vibrates and it can damage the, this cable and get in contact with 110 volts. Then you have to assemble it back the same way you disassemble it.
first you have to tighten the screw which is down here Don't over tighten the screws, just enough to hold the top to the frame. These are the thermostats in case if you want to uh, convert back the machine to these thermostats but uh, I don't think you will do this after trying the machine with the new pit control. This is how you install the pit control for Angelio Silvia.